All exercises are not created equal. Your time is valuable. So how do you know what exercises to pick for yourself to reach your goals? Most people, they have a really hard time picking goals. They either pick goals that are too big and they're told you gotta pick bigger and bigger goals. They don't wanna pick goals. I don't wanna pick goals because I don't wanna to attach to them because I don't wanna spend too much energy thinking about them because I'm never gonna get them. I wanna have process goals or I wanna have tangible, measurable, specific goals. Let's just slide all that to the side for a second. Okay, this is about your filter for evaluating what exercises you should do. How do you pick them? How do you know what exercises are best? What's your filter? What's your filter for? Oh, I saw this exercise on Instagram or I saw this person in the gym or I heard somebody talking about this exercise when they were telling a buddy or a friend or a girlfriend mentioned to me she did this exercise. Should I do it? Your filter for exercising, your filter for selecting exercises, what to do, when to do it, how to get it done, and why it's important for you. Those are difficult questions to ask and really have some answer to them that satisfies your imagination, because it's probably true, and satisfies it enough to give you a reason and a purpose behind the meaning of the movement. I, I don't know what that is for you. But I can tell you, you need a stronger filter. You need to be able to evaluate evidence. All right? That person does that exercise. Well, that person exercises like five hours a day. Of course that exercise is fine for them. It's not fine for me. Evaluating exercises. The filter. My physical therapist gave me these exercises. They are not difficult for me. I need something more difficult. Physical therapist, I need more exercises that are more challenging specifically for me in this context of movement. Because you had a filter for exercise, you, could, you knew what you needed. So when you're filtering through and you're asking yourself, should I row, should I run, should I jog, should I bench press, should I pull up, should I row a cable or a dumbbell? When you're comparing all these things, you're really asking yourself, what's the comparison? What's similar and what's different between the move? So you could start building a filter by picking two movements you're trying to pick between and asking yourself, what's the benefit of A exercise? What's the benefit of B exercise? And then you have some benefits. All right, I'm doing this because it's going to allow me to do this. I'm doing this because it's going to allow me to do that. You can also ask yourself comparatively, what's similar between these movements? They're both pulling my humors back by like 45 degrees or X, Y, or Z, pulling my elbows back. What's different? Well, one has consistent tension because of the cable. One has, you know, kind of on-off tension because it's a little bit of a dumbbell. All right, what do I really want to do with this idea of working my back? Well, I want to work my back because I want to play better golf. That's great. So which one is going to allow you to kind of get into a more golf-specific position? Or, if your goal is, I just need to get rid of my backache, I don't know. My back hurts. Okay. Which one can you manipulate the variables to to strengthen your back in a way that you can feel stronger in your back? So you have something to compare it, to filter it through to help you reach your outcome. But if you go into the gym and the criteria you have for selecting exercises, your purpose for exercise is not clear and you can't communicate it to yourself. You're going to distract yourself. You're going to disorient yourself. And you're going to use lots of energy you don't need to in between the transitions of exercises. And you're not going to feel a flow. You're not going to feel in sync. You're not going to get grounded and experience and feel your body. Because you should have picked these exercises ahead of time. But you didn't. You did not pick them because you, had a, you did not have confidence in your filter for picking exercises but you can and I understand it's really difficult and it's overwhelming because they all look the same and how do you know which one is better well you talk about the benefits of the two what's similar and what's different you compare them against your overall goal and you can have a theme for that exercise session I'm going to do my back I'm going to do all rowing I'm going to do all pushing I'm going to do my legs today I'm going to do my legs abs and my upper body like 
These are just arbitrary random terms, but they help us to categorize what we're going to do. And that helps us to feel comfortable, more confident. And what that really translates into is shorter transitions from movement to movement. And then by the time you finish your exercise and you're looking back, you go, oh man, I feel great. I was super efficient with my time. Everything went really well. Now I'm moving on to the grander part of my day or my week or month or whatever. So build your filter. Check out DominicSessa.com, my YouTube, my Instagram, sign up for my newsletter to hear more.